Shia Baldwin, co-founder of Behind the Wood Beverage Consulting and visiting faculty at alcoholprofessor.com. Today we're shooting out of the beautiful Ventura Osteria in Sunnyside, Queens, and I'm going to take you on a trip to the islands. You're going to learn how to make one of the most famous tiki cocktails, the Mai Tai. The tools that you're going to need are a set of shaker tins, a hawthorn strainer, a microplane, and a two one ounce jigger as well as a three quarter and half ounce jigger. The ingredients you're going to need today are freshly squeezed lime juice, orgeat which is an almond syrup, curacao which is an orange liqueur so you can also use Cointreau or triple sec. You're going to need a nice aged rum and you're going to garnish it with nutmeg and mint. So let's build our cocktail. First of all you're going to take your one and two ounce jigger and you're going to take your fresh lime juice. You're going to pour one ounce of lime juice into your small shaker. Then you're going to take your three quarter ounce jigger and you're going to put your orgeat and three quarters an ounce of orgeat. And then we turn our jigger around and use the half ounce for our orange curacao. And don't let me forget one of the most important ingredients our Bacardier aged rum, which won the silver medal in the New York International Spirits Competition last year. We're going to take our Bacardi aged rum. Aged rum really adds a beautiful flavor to a Mai Tai and rounds it out with the sort of nuttiness of your almond syrup and the brightness of your triple sec or orange curacao. So 1.5 ounces. This drink is a little different because we're using two types of ice. We're going to use regular ice to actually shake our cocktail and crushed ice is actually going to go into the cocktail which our liquid's going to be poured over. So we take our large shaker tin and fill it three quarters of the way full of ice. Take our small shaker tin, pour the liquid right into it. Smack that to make sure that it's got a nice seal on it. You want your thumb to be around the bottom of the small shaker. Then you just want to wrap the rest of your hand so you're cupping both of the small and large shaker tin. And your left hand cups around the bottom. Now let's shake. The reason that I keep it up by my ear is because I'm actually listening for this cocktail to be ready. Um, when I feel that the tins are cold enough and the ice is broken down enough to where I know that all the ingredients are incorporated correctly, it's ready to be served. So in order to break a seal, you take the bottom of your hand and you just smack it against both shaker tins. Easy, right? Now we're going to use our Hawthorne strainer and I'm going to grab a glass and this is where we actually use our other type of ice, the crushed ice. You can actually crush this at home if you have a mallet and a bag to crush the ice in. You don't need a crushed ice machine to do this. It's quite easy. Next step is I'm going to take my Hawthorne strainer and there's this little edge on the Hawthorne strainer called a gate. I want to make sure that that gate is closed completely when I pour my drink into my ice. So we're not getting any ice particles into the drink. Pour it slowly into dr the drink. Now, we take the rest of our crushed ice, cap it on top, take our microplane and a little whole nutmeg and just dust it over the top. This is really going to add to the flavor of that orgeat that we put in there and give it that nutty sort of aromatic smell and taste. Last but not least, we're going to take a, a mint sprig. I just slap it on my hand a little bit to release those oils. Top it off there. Then you want to take a little stir straw, place it right by your mint. The reason for that is when you take a sip, you're going to get the aromatics again from the nutmeg and the mint. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you get the chance to share this recipe with all your friends. Cheers!